SpaceX, ever since its inception, has been at the forefront of redefining the possibilities of space travel. With its progressive and groundbreaking work at Starbase, it's poised to set a benchmark in the rocket industry that others can only aspire to achieve. As the world waits with bated breath for the upcoming launch of Starship 25 and Booster 9, there is an undeniable shift occurring in the very essence of space exploration. This shift, primarily driven by private enterprises like SpaceX, is challenging the established paradigms and institutions, including the mighty NASA itself. No longer is Starbase facility just a launch site, for many space enthusiasts and experts, it's the gateway to Mars. In April, a global audience was glued to their screens, witnessing history being made at Starbase. The site successfully launched the most massive and formidable rocket humanity has ever built. The sheer power and scale of that event were symbolic of what SpaceX aims to achieve. And with another Starship launch slated for a couple of days, the momentum at Starbase shows no signs of slowing down. In the evolving landscape of space technology, SpaceX is moving forward with its plans to build a launch pad in Florida for its Starship spacecraft. The initiative marks a pivotal step in the company's a broader vision, a global transport system that can take humans anywhere on Earth in under an hour. The site for this new launch pad is NASA's Kennedy Space Center, specifically at Launch Complex 39A. This is a location steeped in space history, having been the departure point for the Apollo moon missions and numerous space shuttle launches. SpaceX has been using this pad for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launches and is now setting the stage for Starship operations. In late 2019, the early work on the Starship launch pad at Pad 39A had begun to take shape. The infrastructure, including a nascent launch mount and components of a water cooling system for the thrust diverter, started appearing on site. However, SpaceX shifted its focus to its South Texas launch site soon after, and the development in Florida was put on hold. This pause in activity at Pad 39A continued until recently, when Musk announced the revival of the Starship program in Florida. The site was quickly cleared of the initial build, removing outdated structures to make way for the new design. Work resumed with an emphasis on laying strong foundations, critical for the massive structure that would support Starship launches. The first few months have showed signs that preparations for the physical construction of the pad were underway. Despite limited public visibility into the progress, Occasional glimpses indicated that foundational work was a priority. A flyover of a different Kennedy Space Center facility revealed clear signs that SpaceX was beginning to prepare the hardware necessary for the new launch pad. These developments at the Kennedy Space Center are not just about adding another launch facility. They're integral to SpaceX's goal of making Starship a versatile spacecraft for a range of missions, from deep space exploration to rapid Earth transport. Despite the rapid advancements SpaceX has made, it's essential to note that NASA's concerns about the potential catastrophic failures of Starship have slightly impeded progress in Florida. But SpaceX has made significant strides in a little over a year. Today, the site boasts of cutting-edge infrastructure, which includes the giant chopsticks. This structure, in essence, is the backbone for handling the behemoths that are the Starship and Super Heavy spacecraft. Many space experts argue that building the Starship launch tower is a more daunting task than constructing the Starship itself. SpaceX's achievements in the sector, especially at its Florida launch sites, have already been extraordinary and have garnered attention across the industry. The company's Falcon 9 rocket, often referred to as its workhorse, has set new standards in the realm of spaceflight. With 67 launches to its name, Falcon 9 has shattered previous records by a wide margin, accomplishing what many once considered unachievable. This rocket has managed a launch cadence that is almost unparalleled, averaging a launch every 5.5 days over the span of a year. The bedrock of SpaceX's success, apart from its innovative approach, is its emphasis on reusability. In a groundbreaking moment in July, a Falcon 9 booster proudly completed its 16th flight. The ground teams in Florida have mastered the art of rapid rocket turnaround, achieving times as low as four days between missions. Even in California, which houses an older design launch site, the prowess of the team has ensured Falcon 9 launches with impressive turnaround times of just 10 days.
By 2023, Florida's bustling spaceport had already witnessed 46 launches, with many more to come. From launching NASA's Psyche asteroid probe using the powerful Falcon Heavy in October to a Falcon 9 bearing a commercial lunar lander by Intuitive Machines in November, the stakes and expectations are sky high. While Starbase is undeniably a significant milestone in SpaceX's journey, it is just a stepping stone in the company's grand vision. And in a pivotal announcement that is stirring up excitement in the spaceflight community, SpaceX has disclosed its intentions to aim for a mid-November launch window for the second test flight of the Super Heavy rocket and its Starship upper stage. This eagerly anticipated event is contingent upon receiving the green light from regulatory bodies, a nod that SpaceX is hopeful to obtain shortly. The Federal Aviation Administration, alongside the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, are in the final stages of the environmental review process, which is critical due to the rocket's launch site being located in the ecologically sensitive wetlands of South Texas. Despite the need for regulatory approval, SpaceX's recent announcement signals confidence in their ability to secure the necessary endorsements. The launch, if it goes ahead, follows the inaugural and tempestuous flight of the first full Starship stack, which took place on April 20th, 2023. That initial attempt was marred by technical challenges, with only 30 of the 33 main Raptor engines firing correctly at liftoff, and another three failing during ascent. This culminated in the termination of the flight as the vehicle strayed off its predetermined path. Despite this setback, the mission was not in vain, as SpaceX harvested critical data from the experience. The aftermath of the first launch also brought to light infrastructural inadequacies at the launch site, notably the absence of a flame diverter. The sheer force of the rocket's engines inflicted considerable damage to the launch pad and even propelled debris into the surrounding wetland environment. In response to these issues, SpaceX has been diligent in their rectifications. The launch pad has undergone a comprehensive rebuild, now featuring a water sound suppression system that is expected to lessen the forceful impact at liftoff. The Fish and Wildlife Service's ongoing assessment includes verifying whether these improvements will effectively reduce the environmental repercussions of the rocket's ignition and ascent. Insiders hint that the earliest possible date for this monumental launch could be November 13th, although this remains speculative and subject to confirmation. The second flight test, according to SpaceX's recently published flight plan, seeks to emulate the prior test's timeline and profile. This would see the Starship upper stage undertaking a 90-minute journey designed to complete almost an entire orbit around Earth before a strategic splashdown in the Pacific Ocean, in proximity to the island of Kauai. SpaceX conveyed the current status in a tweet read, the second flight test of a fully integrated Starship could launch as soon as mid-November, pending regulatory approval. This update encapsulates the progress and forward momentum of SpaceX's endeavors while acknowledging the practical hurdles still to be cleared. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.